Hello everyone, thanks for checking out Casual Toys. Today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series Ghost Rider figure that comes with his awesome motorcycle. So let's go ahead and take a look on the outside of the box. Here we have a really cool picture of Ghost Rider himself. And on the back, as you can see, this is the figure complete. We're hoping this looks good as it does on the packaging because this does look quite amazing. This gives you a little thing. Y'all can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to read up more on it. But let's go ahead and open this up and get to the good stuff. Give me one second to open this up for you guys. Alright, let's take a closer look at the Ghost Rider figure here. I really like his modern outfit. He looks in, He's looking pretty badass here. I really like the flame effects they did on him and the bicycle. They did a really good job with the yellow and the red. Here, if we can get the camera to focus. You see he actually has the red in his eyes and his mouth actually opens up. <laughs> he looks kind of goofy like that. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of the other accessories he's come with. Here. He has his signature whip, which they also added the fire effect to. They did a really good job on this. This fits perfectly in his hand. Uh, I tested it out off camera. Came in and out of that hand, no problem. Uh, this is a piece from his motorcycle, the little shield. Uh, this comes right off and it clips right back on. I'll probably keep it on. Uh, if you choose to, you can keep it off. But I think the motorcycle looks a lot better with it on. So that definitely will have that on. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the main piece here, the motorcycle. I will say, uh, this piece, which pops on right here, uh, we'll pop it on a little later to show you what it looks like. Took it off so you can see everything for now. Whenever you get it, the handlebars are off the motorcycle. Uh, this is the proper way that it's supposed to look. Just like so. Make sure the this mirror is looking out. That's another thing. These fire effects fell off whenever I pulled it out, which is fine because they just snap right back on. There's little pegs right here for that. Let's show you. There's little pegs right there for it. It's not a problem. They pop right back on, so if they pop off, it's not an issue. On the other side as well, they just pop right back on. That's another issue I had. Uh, fitting the shield and those fire effects all on all on at the same time definitely was a small struggle. But overall, it looks better with it on and worth taking the time. Even if you want to even glue, you're more than welcome to. Like I said, there's little peg holes in the back of these fire effects. Which, can we just admire these fire effects? They did above and beyond here. They added all the little details. It's pretty great. Pretty great. They did a great job. I like that his motorcycle matches his outfit. The flame effects on the back are easily the most impressive. Oh, and the motorcycle does roll. I do have my tape measure here because I took some measurements for you guys. Love the yellow fading into the red. They just did a fantastic job on these flames. I think this is what really makes the thing pop. I don't know if you've seen the Black Widow figure on her motorcycle. To me, she's just a little plain. Oh, and it sets perfectly because it has a little kickstand. And it makes it look like the actual kickstand's up, which is fantastic. But the Black Widow figure, just kind of plain to me. Her motorcycle's cool, but these effects, just too good to pass up. Too good. The uh, figure himself stands at 7 inches. Standard figure here. The motorcycle, from tip of the tire, if it was standing straight, tip of the tire, to the tip of the longest flame, is 10 inches long. So I think it's a pretty good size. Let's go ahead and get Ghost Rider on the figure himself, and I'm going to go ahead and fix all this for you. That way you can see what everything looks like put together. Here he is, guys. Here's the Ghost Rider figure in all of his glory. Might tilt this just a little bit more. We'll figure that all out later. I have to pose him 
just so you guys could see how awesome he looks. He did a great, fantastic job. Or they did a fantastic job, I'm sorry guys, on this figure. Uh, my only complaint is this falls off pretty easy with this fire. I ended up just super gluing this fire on uh, right here on the side because it's really hard to keep on when you try to snap this on. But I wanted the flame effects anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and just super glue it like I did just to keep it on. Uh, once you start trying to put this figure on, I find it easier to connect his hand to the throttle. And once you do that, then situate your figure on the bike and from there pose the chain. I think the only downside to this figure is because the chain is so heavy, it doesn't really stay up in the air. I kind of wish it was like this, but it kind of just falls and droops because of the weight of the fire. I'm going to see if maybe if I pull it down just a little bit, even though he has the handle on his actual hand himself, if there's a way that I can get it to where the fire stays up like this instead of like that. But other than that, guys, highly recommend this figure. Let's talk about pricing real quick. Uh, the average about this for this figure should be about $40, guys. Please do not pay over $45 for it. Anything over that, they're definitely trying to scam you. Uh, unless you're in a rural area where you cannot find these. Uh, just be a smart sharper out there, guys. Thanks for checking out Casual Cards. Hope you come back. Drop me a comment. Let's talk about this figure. Did you like it? Did you buy it? What do you feel about the Black Widow figure? I'm not a fan. Change my mind. Thanks, guys.